morning people oh i just woke up to a sale so better get that um just found out that there's no car boots at all over the weekend saturdays have been cancelled sunday's been cancelled and yeah so um i've got to go and pick up some goggles for my son uh, because he has to wear glasses uh, for holiday when we're on holiday but i'm going to show you the what they sold on vintage so dad used to love his watches and when we was clearing out we sold most of the stuff eventually but last few weeks i found this i've kept his main watch and it's never going to be sold because it's you know my dad loved it but I thought this was the box for the watch. But yeah, this is the watch. Um, really nice watch. Sold it for sixty pound on Vinted. Um, yeah. It's raining. Um, this is why I'm I'm coming out. Don't news you come out on weekends on charity shops. But yeah, I need to get some stock. Um, I've got plenty of stock anyway. But I need to get some stock, which would um like make up for the not going to the car boots over the weekend. But the main reason of this video is to answer to some people. In the last video, I wasn't gonna do this even video, but I need to shut up the trolls. Sorry if you're trying to help, but you're not really helping because what I say is the truth. I don't need to lie about profits. I don't need to lie about sales. Everything I do, and I say it on my channel, is to help people out. It's nothing to do about bragging. It's nothing about lying about profits. Because if I was going to lie about profits, I would put my profit up so stupidly high that you would be like, wow. And I wouldn't show you any details at all about how I got them. And when I finish around the charge shots, which I'm probably not going to pick up much because... It's absolutely chucking down and it's like just a Saturday and I'm not in the mood really. But I need to go out anyway to pick up my son's goggles. When I get home, I'm going to show you my books. So I write everything down and I put everything on a spreadsheet. So that's one question answered already. Um, I'm going to show you what I sell, how much I bought it for, what are the fees and that are taken off. And then the total profit. I'm going to show you the last few weeks of what my profits are. In the books, page by page, you can copy, screenshot them if you want. And then write big massive essays. Because if you're that sad to do that, then you really need to get a life. And I say, when you sound bitter, it does sound bitter. I've got nothing against anybody who watches my channels, wants to make comments good or bad, but when you're doing stuff like that and writing essays about my profits, which are apparently false and they're not, then you need to get a bit of a grip and a life. If you don't like what I say or you don't believe what I say, simply don't watch my videos. I'm not going to cry over one person not watching my videos. So I'm here to help people. And this is going to even back up everything I do say. So all the people who do leave nice comments, which is quite a few, this is for you. It's not for the trolls. This is for you just to prove I'm telling the truth, basically. But yeah, hopefully I can pick up some good things out because I haven't picked up anything. I've been to two charity shops and I didn't even film it because you know me. I don't film just going into charity shops unless it's fake stuff overpriced stuff or I pick up something, you know, good. Some Air Force Ones. How much do they want? 8.50. They are fake. They're not real ones. These look a bit fake as well. Jeez. Oh. These real. These look a bit more legit. 
These will be worth a bit. You can have all them, Dougie. You can have them, a big car. No price on them. Let's see how much they want for. Want the Air bubbles are fine. Show the lady what you're having then. Uh, Let's have a look what you're having. Absolutely wrecked. This is a bum bag with a, looks like a bottle holder. I recently bought a bum bag and they're ex they are expensive to buy. This looks like it's never been used, so how much is it? Two quid, should make 15, 20 quid profit on that. So this is the shop where it's just been refurbished and I got a load of toys, let's hopefully see if they've got any more. So what do we have here? Six quid for the box. Uh, they look like bionic or bio, bio okay, uh, robots. The news you fetch are between 10 to 15 per item. So one, two, three, four. There's ten in there. It's worth about 100 quid. I'm definitely taking them. Picked up my lad's goggles for holiday. £79 they cost. Oh my god. How expensive and you can't get them for free as a nine year old. So what we have here is an action man. Speeds. Rocket. I have just checked it before I filmed it. Everything's there. You're looking around, sold for £39 with a box, and it's only £3.99. Absolute steal. I'm back home now, uh, not particularly good. That's why I don't do charity shops at the weekend, because it's just a big waste of time. It's mainly car boots at the weekend. Picked up some good stuff though. Good profits on all of them, so should be okay. Uh, but yeah. I'm going to show you proper profits now. Shut up all you haters because you're winding me up and you're not going to be able to comment on this now because when you see these profits in my books, what are you going to say then? So I'm going to show you now and then I expect a bit of an apology, but if you're a proper troll, you're probably going to come up with some other rubbish comment. And if you do, I'm just going to block you because I can't be doing with people who are just bitter, jealous, just because you're succeeding in what you're doing. Get your head out your own backside and actually concentrate on your own sales than putting down other people because they're doing well or enjoying what they are doing. I've got my two books here. I do everything on a laptop as well, spreadsheets. Um, got something sold here. This is what I bought, I think on Monday. That was one of the Paw Patrol, it's a boat. I think I sold it for 20 quid. So nice little profit. And then another game of knowledge that was in the big bundle of games I've picked up. I put that on straight away because I've already sold one. So I just relisted it it's exactly the same so yeah i think that's sold for i can't I actually can't remember is i think it's about 20 quid it's a really good game to buy but this is what i put all my stuff in this is my stock one so everything i buy i put on here i'm not going to show you everything but just for instance anything i bought on that day i will write down the ones that are highlighted and crossed out, they're the things that are sold, so I know they're sold. And and I tell you what it is, and I'll obviously how much I bought it for. And usually I do put where I got it from as well, like um, charity shop. Uh, so like for instance, here's something I got for free. Um, yeah, but that's not the one that tells you how much I've made. This is the one that tells you how much I've made. And I'm gonna show you now the last couple of weeks on my 
profits. So let's show you my actual start of February. As you can see, this is really basic almost the start of February. And these are all the stuff I've sold. So now I put down in the bottom the how many sales in a day and the daily total of profits. But this is what I usually do. So I write down what it is, how much I bought it for, what it sold for on whatever platform. Then I work out the profits. So my profit on this walker was £29.69p and I sold it on eBay. The way I work out the profits is obviously that's how much I sold it for. Then you put on the postage, which is um, £10 up on New Zealand walkers. So they would be like 49 99 Then obviously eBay take off all the fees combined of the 49 99 um, Some have ad fees, some don't. Um, then I get a total. With that total, I take off the postage, which is £8, actually 40 And then I take off what I bought it for. And it comes up with that total. And that is the same with every single thing I do. Every single thing, like I say, some things I get tiny profits because I'm actually, this is where I was selling, like getting rid of old stock and stuff like that. For instance, look, picked up something for a quid, sold it for 14 99 made £11.72 profit. So this is how I do it. So this is the start of February. Like I said, I didn't write the daily totals for these ones, but this is Wednesday, Thursday, hope you're screenshotting them all, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. At the end of that week, I made 51 sales. I bought it all for £204.83p. My sales before profit were £959.29p. After all the deductions, the posting and packaging, what the items cost, obviously fees, 600 and I think that's 11 96 So that is over £600. The next week, I started writing down the, t the days and, you know, how many I sold in a day and the totals. £94 in profit on that day. The next day, I made £94.57p. Look at all these. And here's the vintage ones. Like, like I said, in my video, I didn't mention vintage, but 90% is eBay. I do have some vintage ones and look I am so honest I even show you I actually lost money on that because I, that is something that I'm trying old stock just want to get a bit my money back you know so I lost 52p whoopie do but 10 sales 197 pound and 94p it was 200 because obviously that printer came back and I lost a big chunk. That is in one of the videos I mentioned. Everything I lose or do in my videos is truthful. So people doubting me, shut your face. Nine sales, 73 pounds, well just over. And then another one, six sales, 82 pounds. I'm making 82, well, I'm making, sorry, 80 pounds with only six sales. This is why I am making so much money. I'm getting regular sales every day, but my sales are making big profits because I'm buying stuff that makes big profits and I'm buying it for cheap, you know. So when you think about what you are buying, you gotta make sure that you're buying stuff what you can make a lot of profit on. And then here is the end. Because of the sales, I was doing a lot of crossing out because of the printer and so on. So 48 sales in this one. And yeah, there you go. £649. And then finally, the next week, which I'm just going to show you quickly. A few um, returns. That was returned. 
I put that on the wrong date because I sold it. I actually bought it, on, sold it on a different date. On this one, £67. This one, £108. There's the things. Um, Wednesday, there's some of the sales. Seven sales, 231. And you know why? Because of printers. This is why I can make so much money. Five pound, sold it for 160. After costs, 134 pounds. And Friday, oh, Thursday, 45 pounds. Only two sales on Friday. So, yeah, but after two sales, £48 profit. And then, the last two days, 38 sales in the week, £624.51p. I have just proved to everybody now that <laughs> my figures are right. Why would I write false figures, right? These have got to go to the tax man, you know. I've got to put in, obviously, my first tax thing um, next month, and I've got to have right figures, you know. Everything I buy, you know, will be written down. Everything I sell will obviously go through uh, the tax man because uh, statements through eBay, Money going into my bank account from eBay will prove how much I'm earning. Then obviously you deduct all the stuff that comes off it. So this proves what I'm saying is true. So if you are watching this and you're thinking, oh, but he said that, oh, he's lying. Don't listen to him. They pretend they, they know a lot and they don't. And I hope you people are going to comment down and say, oh yeah, but you did this. If you did, get a life because you are completely wrong. Literally, pen to paper evidence of what I'm doing. End of story. Not talking about it again. And you know what? Don't let people put you down. I know what I'm making. I'm helping people, showing you how to make money just shows you the profit I've made on the last three weeks. And like I said, if you want to make that money, you want to make them sales, hit that video up there now and it tells you everything that I did to make them sales in the last three weeks. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Come down below. If you want to be nice, come down below. If you want to be horrible, but I will put a smiley face. And I will see you again with another video.